uh, moved on to Perth in Australia. But uh, the club's been running now for about four years, I think. And um, and basically, it goes from kids from um, li like little ducks. We got to learn to swim group every day, and Saturdays as well. Then we got we can move up through the group to basic knowledge, which is basically you've got your kids ranging from about five to around nine, and then moving on up, we've got our talent group and mini talent groups, who are then hopefully going to move up to our senior development squads. All right. And you're, yourself, you're from Wales in UK? Yeah, I'm um, originally from mid Wales. Went to college in uh, Brecon, the sports college. Got my uh, national diploma in sport and exercise science. And um, an opportunity to come out here to work as a gap student last, last January. So I worked here for a year, finished December, went home, Christmas New Year with the family, and then I was offered a job back here in February. Must be much easier to encourage kids to swim outdoors, especially than in Wales, where it's much colder. Yeah? And myself as well, man, <laughs> to get out in the sunshine, and it's a lot easier. The kids, the weather's usually pretty good, and uh, the kids just enjoy the swimming. Right. You concentrate on the younger ones, mainly. Mainly, yeah. I work with the Learn to Swim group, and um, then I move on with the talent group. I mean, out here, the talent, mini talent. Okay. Now, out here, you're a, yep. a Thai Olympic swimmer. Tell us about your background. You. you how did you get on? Swimmers. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, I was start swimming since three years old, and then I kept swimming, and then I got into the first national team on the, what, I think 1997. It was a sea game in Indonesia, and then by then I I keep getting in the national team uh, until uh, what 2000 year 2000 I went to the Olympic Sydney, and then 2001. How did you get on in the in the Sydney? Um, I was second for for the age year for the 400 freestyle and then uh, 400 IM, and I was first at the, in in the miles. But for 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 the age year only. But I mean for overall, I got like a uh, 20 something. I can't remember. It. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then did you retire after that? Or you, you no, no, no. I, I still went on for for a couple of years, and then I retired because my, of my, my my injury. Okay. Yeah. So how is it? How do you feel? You coach the older ones here. What do you think of um, the, the, not, the not, talent? Not the older one, but all, all the age group. Yeah, start from 5 up until 14, 15. Okay. Yes. What do you think of the talent, especially the Thai kids? Uh, I mean, I know it's an international school here, but what do you think of the Thai kids? Yeah, yeah, we got a very good kid, very good talent kid, but um, they, they just never never be trained in, in, in the correct way before. So I just came here with Jake. And yeah, we will try to get them to train in a, in a, a proper way. Yeah. Do you think some of these kids can go on to say the Olympics or obviously Sea Games and uh, national games? Is is that the main priority? Yeah, yeah. Right now, uh, I saw some of the kid that they they can reach to that level. Okay. Um, we got one girl that just qualified for the for the Singapore team, but uh, junior Singapore teams, and then we got two kids in our school that qualify for, for the, the Southern Thailand part to complete in the um, junior national games. Okay. Yep. Is it a good facility here, obviously the swimming pool is what, 100 meters, is it, is it Olympic length? Oh, the here? third, the, the, the pool behind, pool. yeah, 50 yeah. meter, and then the second pool just behind us there is a uh, yeah. primary pool, 25 meter. Yeah. So the facilities are, are perfect. There's a baby pool for the little learn to swim, the little right. four-year-olds and five-year-olds, and then obviously as they improve, and they, they can swim, they've got a chance to swim short course, 25, and also long course, 50. Right. Yeah. I see you're training them with sort of uh, flippers, snorkels, and little um, uh, hand paddles. Yeah. 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 How does that help? Well, it, it's all to correct technique. I mean, um, the, the paddle doesn't work effectively enough if, you, if the hand's not in the correct positions. Also, then the snorkel's used for the streamlining of the head. So they get, they, get, um, they get used to being in the position of their faces down at the bottom of the pool. And uh, it should, they're all, all used for technique. Yeah. And some of them are swimming for a long time. I mean, it's like they're doing a, it looks like a marathon. <laughs> Is this to increase their fitness or just increase, increase in yeah, the technique? Yeah, both thing. To, to, to increase their fitness and, and the technique. Okay, it, it, it had to come together. Yep. Now you're training for a special event this weekend. Tell us about that, the Taiwan, Taiwan Cruise Taiwan. Challenge. Taiwan Cruise Challenge, 24th and 25th. Um, it's starting this weekend, Saturday, 8 o'clock. Um, and basically we got teams from not just Southeast Asia, there's teams from Hong Kong, we've got teams like the Chinese International School Hong Kong, um, we've from got Brunei. from Brunei, Malaysia, yep. and then we've got a few local teams as well, and then some coming down from Bangkok. Will there be tough competition for the local British uh, flying fish here? Yeah? Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. yeah.
I, I'd have thought so because a lot of the teams coming down have got swimmers that compete in the Fabisi games, which uh, the school partakes in. So the standard should be should be really high. There's um, a f like obviously we've got swimmers here that are in Thai junior national squads and 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 the the C age group. So we're bringing a high standard. So hopefully the other clubs bring it as well. Right. I think I've heard in the past some Ol Olympic teams or national teams have also come here to train as well. Is that right? Ah uh, yeah, for 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 the um, Sweden national team. Yeah, they, they used to come here every year to, to, to train, to have a training camp here, yep. So it's certainly good credential that this is a great place to train and base. Yes, yeah. well, it's, it's, almost, almost, it's yeah. almost training in paradise. I mean, we've had the Hungarian, uh, we had two Hungarian swimmers here, disabled swimmers, both um, Paralympians, yeah. and they came and they trained, they loved it. All the coaches that come here love it. It's just perfect facility and perfect. Obviously, being the monsoon season, though, does it matter whether it rains or not? Will and will the event still go ahead if it if it rains? Yeah, of course. This is not like a big thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but hopefully not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get wet in the water anyway.